Hello. Husky's back again with more New York Rangers franchise mode commentary in NHL 18. Uh, last video, we had a pretty disappointing playoff series against the New Jersey Devils, in which we went out in five games, four games to one, with I think every game being a five goal or a one goal game. This is a little disappointing. We haven't made it to the draft just yet. Um, as you can see there, the Devils got their butts kicked by the Panthers, so I don't know if we would have had any better results, but <clears throat> still, would have been nice to have been there. How have been there? Um, seeing as we've only got one season left, this is year nine, we're going into year ten. Um, we have a few guys that resigned. I've got $22 million in extension dollars to dish out. I already did some contract offers, so we'll just run through them real, real quick. Um, Torsten Husalius wanted 7.2. Um, I think he can... If he plays on a first line with a better center... Um, I mean, I love Devin Shore, but he's not a first line center. Uh, I am going to keep him around, though. He wanted 3.2, so he's going to be our third line center at 3.2. Um, I haven't offered Ranta a contract yet, because he wants 4.8. Uh, that's a bit much for my liking. I think I'm going to just qualify him and see what he grows into. If his overall gets significantly better, I'll consider it. Um, Brady Shea is 33. He's on the older side, but he only wants 5.9. And I'm not going to find a better defenseman at his overall for a better price. So I'm just going to stick it out with him for now. Um, Mahar wants 8.4. That's a lot. But again, this guy is a 35-40 goal scorer. Um, I need him around, so we're going to sign him for that. We're not too bad in terms of cap space. The McDavid $11 million really isn't working out for me. Um, he's yet he's had 182 point per game seasons since coming here after year one. Uh, he's kind of been a disappointment, but we're going to get him back on the first line in our last year. Um... I said last video, I'm going to trade Richmond. I have to trade Richmond. He's just not cut out for our team. Um, he's not cut out for $8 million. So if I trade him, I'm going to trade him at the draft for... I'm going to see what goalies I can maybe grab. Because, I mean, I might have been a little harsh on Curry. But I really don't think he is going to be the answer. Because we've got a good defense. We have half... We need to improve our offense a little bit. Um, and I think moving Shore to the third line and maybe getting him a goal scorer on that third line, uh, they'll be able to do something. But Husalia showed that he can put points up. He did it in the postseason for us. Um, I'm only doing advanced. Ooh, St. Louis and Florida. St. Louis beat the Hawks in the, in the conference finals. That's a shame. All right, so Brady Shea rejected. Mahar rejected. Jeffrey on exact rejected. Husalia rejected. So they all rejected because none of them want contract extensions. Um, and I knew that was going to be an issue. I don't want to go over the top trying to sign these guys. Uh, Husalius, I don't want to go too much more than seven. I don't want to go above eight for him. Uh, Mahar, we'll try 8.5. So that's already nearly half of my uh, cap hit right there. Uh, Devonshore wants an extension, so I'm going to wait until we get to the resign phase to offer him. And Jeffreyon, he doesn't want to be here, but he wanted a nice... I mean, his contract's not awful, so we'll give him a little bit of a boost. So we gave him all a little bit of a pay raise. Let's see if they sign. Um, this is this is a little bit more of a frustration, frustrating process. Because, again, I know they don't want to sign extensions. But it comes down to how broken contract talks are. Like, all of these guys I'm offering the contracts they're asking for, and they're all saying no. I understand you have to pay more, but if you want, don't want an extension, j jack your price up. Tell me you want more. Like, don't just give me a flat number and then tell me no. Like, this is the most frustrating part of this game. Is easily the contract talks and the like. I love that they added contract extensions. It's huge, and you need it. But the way that it was implemented is just so poor. It's so half-assed. Alright, so Mahar signed. So let's go see what we have left in terms of contract dollars. Again, we can free up some space if I just trade Richmond for, like, 
if I stick with Curry, Curry's $5 million. I might just stick with him. Um, I might have been too hard on him. We have a couple of guys that are working out pretty pretty cheaply. I have 14 and a half. So let's offer Torsten. He only wants a one-year deal, so we'll give him one year's at eight. One, one year's? That's not one year at $8 million and see if he takes that. Um, I mean, worst comes to worst, I qualify him and I offer him something come free agency. Because these guys magically forget that they didn't want a contract extension come free agency. So who's Celia signed? So let's go ahead and let's sim to the uh, draft. I kind of want to see who wins the cup. I'm kind of hoping it's Florida. Just because, oh boy, St. Louis. 3-1 to one leading the series. Come on, Florida, come back on them. Come on, Florida. Oh, St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup. That's something you hate to see. Sorry, if, if you're new here, I'm a Hawks fan and cannot stand the St. Louis Blues. So, that's where the the hate comes from. But let's hop into the draft and let's let's see if we can trade Richmond for... Uh, he doesn't have the highest trade value. So, it's going to be a little tough to, to get appropriate value. As long as Brady Shea doesn't retire, I really don't care. Okay, he didn't retire, I don't care. If we can get Richmond for an actual, because... Huselius McDavid, Huselius McDavid, Mahar, second line is, well, let's look, forwards, so Richmond is all the way down here, he's got no trade value, none. Oh, we've got Boblev, Bobolev, I wonder if he uh, is play if NHL ready come next season, we'll have to wait and see. Second line, um, I kind of want to do McLeod, McLeod on the second line. McLeod, McLeod, and Arkhipov. I think Arkhipov's a playmaker. He is. McLeod's a power forward, and McLeod is... There's, so there's two power forwards on that line, but they worked so well together. And then my third line would be... Somebody, somebody, and Devin Shore. <laughs> Rankin, somebody, and Devin Shore. Okay. So let's see if we can trade uh, Richmond here, because he's just... He's not worth his cap hit. Let's not trade him to somebody that... All right, so what does Washington have to offer? I kind of want to get a forward back. Verona's making 8.7. What in the world? Christian Fisher. Not really. I need a, I want a goal scorer. Those guys aren't goal scorers. Kuznetsov is still kicking around. Vancouver. Again, I kind of want to find somebody that's... Again, though, his cap, his trade value is so low. 32 points. Again, I want to... Ooh, hello. Cody Fox, 27 goals. 83 overall. You make it 1.36. I'd have to re-sign him. There's no way he wants more than... 5, right? I can't imagine he'd want more than that. What would I have to give up to get him? Uh, I don't want to give up any of these guys. Jeffrey on, no. 18-year-old top 9 forward low. Will this be enough? I don't think it'll be enough. Isn't sufficient at all. So let's throw in a draft pick. You're, you're, you're a rebuilder. You want draft picks, right? You want a first round pick. I don't want to give you a first round pick. So let's keep looking. I'll come back to him. That guy might be alright, but I don't know what he's going to want to resign for, so. Because I want to try to to reduce the cap hit that my third line is going to have on the team. Because so far, he's like the best option, but he's going to want to resign for like five or six. And while that may not be awful... I think we can find something. Damn, they hit a big with him. Limbum. Oh, we can get another Akarpov. This is Victor. Vladimir Akarpov, two-way forward. He had 20 goals. I mean, he's nearly a 30-goal scorer. He's in the AHL, he's a 20-goal scorer in the NHL. He doesn't need to be much more. He's got 94 offensive awareness, so if I play him... Makes 1.1. What's his contract like? One year, so he's got to get re signed. Damn it. 
Alright, we'll come back to him. And I'm trying very hard to find guys that are... This guy's a center. I don't need centers. More than enough center. Robbie Fabry, 5.5. Adrian Kane, four star shooting, power forward, 15 goal. Now he's not really a goal scorer. All right, I don't want to trade any of you. Nashville. Nick Merkley, Mendoza, Colin Greening, Nell Yakupov making six minutes. Jesus Christ. Shanahan, Jimmy Shanahan. Oh, man. I should have done a little. Wow, Gal Chain Network making 10.2? Why? <laughs> Just why? It makes no sense. You can't pay anybody else on that team if you're paying somebody that much money who's only an 84. At least my 10 million dollar guy is a 96. Riley Smith? No. I mean, Riley Smith wouldn't be awful. This dude's probably got 8%. Oh no, this guy's actually. You have. Do you score at all? 20 goals? Christopher, Christopher Reefus, Christopher, he's 27, 1.3 million dollars for two years, 92 offensive, war. his hand eye is not great, but he's got a half decent shot, not good defense, you know what, let's, let's go, for, let's go for Reefers, obviously one for one won't go through, no, not sufficient at all, that's fine, I expected that, draft picks, what do you want? You want a second? A second in Richmond? I want something back though. Uh, give me your third. A third in Reefers for Richmond in a second? Oh, just a touch. Just, just a touch. Just a touch. Here's a fifth. All right. Oops. We'll do a fourth instead of a fifth. There we go. Again, the fourth round. Uh, just a touch coming through. I'm not shopping around Bobolev, but if we get something, we'll have to wait and see. Bobolev. Tobias Reader and a fourth for a f for my first. Tobias Reader is four years left on a $5.5 million. He's probably an 84. Yeah. What's his offense like? 20. Nah, not worth it. It was tempting, but it's not worth it. I don't want Reader, man. Alright, so I'm actually using my first round pick here. Can we find a gem that's NHL ready right now? Two medium elites, high top sixes, high top four. Mm, let's take the two-way defender. Medium top four. Yeah, he's not NHL ready though. Is there? What, was anybody drafted that's NHL ready? Oh, I got one to pick ten. Islanders, of course, and then pretty much the entire top five. Oh wow, the top two really weren't that great. Oh, Dallas striking out with a high top nine and pick two. This might not be the greatest draft. So if that Reefers kid can just be a 20 goal scorer for us, I think we did exactly what we needed. We killed, we dumped some big cap hits and managed to pick this kid up. Top nine, third round, yeah, sure. Medium top nine, 66 overall, not bad. I wanna make sure I get these two elite guys. Uh, fourth or fifth round offensive defenseman. Medium top six, 66. All right. Philip Deneau in a fourth for my second next year. Is Deneau worth anything? 2.4 is a lot. I really don't need any centers. He'd be a fourth line center at best. Nah, I'm good. I really don't want to do the rest of this draft since we only have one year left. But at the same time, this might be something that I play not for videos, but like... Maybe a live stream here and there. I'm taking the seventh round, high top six, low top nine. All right, cool. All right, let's see. Let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba. yeah, let's give it a try. Medium top nine, 65 overall. Could be worse. Could be better. I gotta stop playing with my tooth broke it in half the other day and I haven't gotten the fix yet. Labry, last pick, low top nine, nothing special. Alright. 
medium elite grinder in the late seventh round who was a 71. Damn. Shame he's a grinder. All right, so let's send him to the resign phase. This might be a bit of a long off-season video. All right, so I got a couple of guys I need to get done. Oh, we got the two big ones done in Huselius and Mahar. We have 13.9 million in cap space, so we've got plenty of room. Um, Brady Shea doesn't want to be here. Oh, I have to... No, no I don't have to set our mixture. Yeah. Reefers is one year left. All right, so Devin Shore, I want to resign. He only wants 2.8 now. Uh, I am more than willing to give you 2.8 to be my third line center. Ronson, do you still want four? Oh, you want 1.7 now. Wait, why does he want 1.7? Did he get worse? What's his... Is he a playmaker? He's got good defense, so we can be a 4th line center. That's a good price for a 4th line center. Jeffreyon wants 1.6. Absolutely. See, now these guys want to be here. They didn't want to be here before. Alright, so Brady Shaven, and shows a... I have so many people I have to sign. want to make sure I leave myself some... Uh... some room for bottom six guys will let go uh, Lieb you've been around for a while keep you around oh I wasn't going to sign bottom six guys shit oh well alright then Hinnestros I want to keep around because he should want pretty at yeah, 1.1 Bouchard, I don't really care about. Or I don't have to care about Bouchard. So let's let's see what Shea want now. 6.2, so he wants even more. Uh, I'm going to offer him 6.3. And if he takes it, he takes it. If he doesn't, he's going to go to free agency. So let's see. And, I mean, if he's the only guy out there for free agency, I'll offer him something more. But if I can find somebody that's a little younger to replace him, if I have to pay a little more, I'd be okay with that since we saved a bunch of cap trade in Richmond. I don't think he'll sign. Yeah, Shea rejected. Everybody else. Oops, somebody rejected in there. That's fine. We'll go ahead and sim to free agency. My goalies are okay. Because uh, I was going to let McNeven walk. I don't want to pay $1.9 for, or $2 billion for a backup. Alright, so let's see what's out there in free agency. Sign free agents. So Brady Shea is the best defenseman out there. Of course he is. And now he wants 6.5. Of course he does. <sighs> okay, to share about Barry Manning. So you're a sniper and you have a half decent shot, but you don't score. Nick Merkley, Nick Suzuki, Tanner Pearson. Like, this is another real disappointing... <laughs> Free agent class. Alright, well, I guess I'll offer Shea a contract. Since there's nobody else out here. That Manning wants a really good contract for being 26, man. He's got three teams interested. If we sign him, we sign him. If we don't, we don't. Let's see who signs, though. I don't have enough for all three, so... Kyle Connor and Connor Murphy for a first, a second, and Mara. That's all of my cap space right there for Kyle Connor and Connor Murphy. Kyle Connor's an 84. He's an awesome two-way defense... or two-way forward. But... Not nearly enough points to... And Connor Murphy's not a bad defenseman by any means. But that's just... Maybe I'll consider that if I don't get one of these guys in terms of who I'm signing. Come on, sometime today. Right, so Marshall signed, Manning rejected. A Manning went to the Islanders. Get out of here with these. Yeah, at least we got Brady Shea back. 
All right, so we got Shea back, and we got our backup goalie. How much is cap space? We have 4.2 million. I really don't think I have a whole lot to... You know what? Mike Hoffman for 3.1? He can be a bottom six goal scorer. Is that Patrick Kane? Oh, man. Holy shit. No, I want Patrick Kane. I don't want Mike Hoffman. Crap. Patrick Kane from my bottom. Patrick Kane to play with Devin Shore. Is there a deadlier combo? I think not. But Mike Kaufman's gonna sign. We're not gonna be able to sign Patrick Kane. God damn it! I should have. I was too hasty. Oh, Patrick Kane signed first, and Mike Kaufman went to the Blackhawks. Oh my goodness! I have a team that has Connor McDavid and Patrick Kane on it. Look at those stats as a 37-year-old. Uh, he's going to be a bottom six guy, but I don't really care. Let's send him to next season. Let's see what our team looks like. Devin Shore, Patrick Kane. Oh, that, that combo is going to be disgusting. Devin Shore has a goal scorer on his line. Can't wait to see how this season goes. <laughs> nope. I already have a comment on my Rangers video. Let's see what uh, people have to say. All right, come on, let's get to the regular season here. I want to see my Lions, man. This is this is the final year. This is the tenth year of the Rangers franchise. I tell you what, though, man, if we get to the Cup or the Conference Finals and we don't win, we might do one more year. Because I really want to win a cup, man. I've had such bad luck with these GM modes this year. I also hope Patrick Kane doesn't like drop to like a 72. Alright, so let's edit the lines. Let's see what we're rolling with here. So first look. Patrick Kane's on the first line as an 80 overall. You know what? Even though he's an 80 overall, his stats are still disgustingly good. Like, his shot's still five stars, his puck skills are still five stars, his senses are still up there. I might just leave him on that first line with Connor McDavid and Kelvin Mahar. Like, Kane doesn't play defense, but that could be disgusting. Uh, second line, that's pretty much what I want. Oh, no, I don't want that. I love Husalius, and I want him on the first line, but I think Husalius has to play with Shore. Reefers, Devin Shore, Husalius, Rankin, Ronta, Jeffrey on. I mean, our team looks good in theory. Uh, we'll see if that ends up being correct. Defensively, we do kind of struggle defensively. Peter Hurdle, Jamie Alexiak, Brady Shea, Christian Malstrom, Pogi Ballon. So we do kind of fall off a little bit there. Do we have anybody scratched? Timoshev, Bryce Fritz. Who's Bryce Fritz? He's a significantly better... You know what? He's going to probably play fourth line instead of Ronta. Because his defense is so much better, and that fourth line needs better defensemen. Like, I would love to play Shore down there, but Shore is definitely more the offensive side of a two-way forward. And with Jeffrey on and Rankin, that fourth line can score goals. So we'll have to wait and see how they do. I'm, I'm actually excited for this season. Mahar, McDavid, Patrick Kane. Like, Kane may not be for the physical presence he was. I mean, if Kane was never a physical presence, but... if How many goals did he score last season? As an 83, he scored 32 goals. He's still a 30-goal guy. Like, every single season, he's up here. He had a little bit of a come down in these two out of the last four years. But, man, just playing with McDavid should net a whole bunch of goals, man. And what's Curry like? Are we still rocking an 86 overall goalie? Oh, he's down to an 84. All right. That's not, that's not fantastic. But he's only making $5 million. I'm going to I'm gonna send him to the regular season because I want to see how our first game goes. But I'm leaving Patrick Kane on that first line because that first line has the potential to be the best first line in hockey. You have two, you have three potential 40 goal scorers on that first line. And that fact alone might be why I need to split them up. But we're going to run with it to start because I want to see if they can get the job done 
So we're playing Nashville first. So let's go ahead, let's hop in. Let's do game one. And then I'll call it a video. Alright, game one. I want to see nine goals. All for, I want to see triple hat tricks. Mahar, Kane, and McDavid. Let's go. Alright, so Mahar's already on the board against Kavanaugh. But Curry gives up one from the boards. The boards, man, just he does not like the boards. Ooh, Philip Forsberg gets one. Alright, so it's 2-1 to one Nashville. They're out shooting us pretty good. Oh, Devin Shore. Patrick Kane. Let's go. We have two shots. We had two shots in the third period and both of them were goals. Oh, but foot answers for Nashville. 35 to 21 in shots. Nashville's a really good team. I think. Not entirely sure. Alright, overtime again for game one. Shocker. And I guess we're going to a shootout as always. Yep. <laughs> Oh, but we beat him with three shootout goals? And you, you can only win 2 nothing. But McDavid, Kane, and Mahar, we might have the best shootout lineup in the league. All right, our, that was encouraging. I'm actually going to stop the video here, though. As always, comment section for critiques, criticism, reactions, whatever. Anything and everything. And feel free to let me know what you think the lines would look like. I think I'm going to record the season now, though. Because this season has me excited with our lineup. So if line changes don't happen after you post something, it's because I already recorded it. My apologies. But I want to get this season going. I'm excited for it. Hopefully you'll be around for the next video. But as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you on Tuesday. For what is potentially our final season.